Consider the following SQL statement. I'm looking for all of the different staff members in the staff table that are supervisors. So naturally I'll put in a where clause and say position like supervisor. Consider if I want to get a lot of the other different positions in there as well. Well, I'll use the OR logical comparison operator. I execute that query and I'm effectively getting the whole table. But what I'm really getting at here is it's quite cumbersome if I'm looking for a number of different values. That is, I want any record that matches any of these three different values to come back to me. If I've got a number of different values I'm searching for there, it's often easier to use the in or not in keywords in SQL. So watch this. I'm going to replace all of that and just use in. And I'm effectively doing the same thing as I did before, but just with a lot less writing and also a lot less thinking. The in keywords effectively is asking if the value that you're looking at SQL in this field, if it is in this set that I'm giving you, and that's what I'm giving you here. I'm giving you a set with a number of different items in it. If the value in the position field is equal to any of the members of this set, I want that record returned. And oftentimes, if I've got a lot of different items that I need to check or values that I need to check, using a set like this is much better than using position like supervisor or position like manager or position like assistant or position like clerk, etc, etc, etc. It's much easier to see, much easier to maintain, much easier to write. We can also use the not in. So for instance, if I just want to check for any members of staff who are not assistants, I can say position and I get the values I'm looking for. So that's the in and not in keywords in SQL.